Hey guys, it's the Comp Game, and today I'm going to show you how to install a virtual operating system inside of your current operating system. And before we start, I just want to tell you guys to check out my Facebook page. It's pretty tight. It has a ton of nice memes, and I don't post crap, so check it out. It's all good stuff. And I just started it a little while ago. But back to the tutorial. You're going to need something called VirtualBox to do this, right? So, just click on the link in the video description and it'll take you directly to the download page. Now, it's different since it's a different file for each operating system. Just click on the one that you need based on your operating system. Once you do that, install it. And then after you've installed it, go to start and just search for it. Or it should be on your desktop or something. But... All you got to do is install it and open it. And I got that because I haven't updated it, but it's all good because um, it's still the same basic thing. Now, once you open it, you'd click on new, click on next, and then pick your operating system, the one that you're trying to install. For the example, I'm installing Windows XP, so I'll name it Windows XP click next and give it how much RAM you want if you have less than two to three gigs of RAM I recommend no more than 500 megabytes because if you put too much in and you're running other stuff while you're also running the virtual operating system you know it might cause a problem but since I have eight gigs I usually give it about one or two gigs depending on what kind of operating system it is click next check startup disk and pick create new hard disk click next and select vdi click next dynamically allocated next and name it and then give it a size if you did fix size then you know you'd have to increase the size but if it's done if it's dynamically allocated and it increases in size by itself then I recommend keeping it at about 10 or 15 gigs. For this example, I'm going to do 10 gigs. Click next, click create, click create again. And now you basically have like a virtual computer. Then click start and you will need a disk or a ISO file. Now it's fairly easy to download an ISO file you can google it and download it from a torrent and or you can just you know insert your disk and download it or use that if you have a disk you go to computer and select it from there but since I have an ISO file I'll select that click next and click start now it'll act like a normal computer and it'll, it might come up with the dialogue that says press a key so you press a key and it'll start installing so yeah i hope this helped and if you have any questions comment below and again check out my facebook page it's tight i'm i'm, I'm gonna put a lot of nice stuff on it so yeah good luck guys and hope this helped